Our new generation, our new genesis, is the creation of the first ever hard money. The first money that allows for freedom. I don't want a limit on demand. I want every person on this globe using not altcoins, not whatever else. I want them using Bitcoin. I don't want some bullshit argument about, oh, people will use it and it will be bad. Very simple, very easy, good. When every single person on this globe pays for their cup of coffee, pays for their uh, whatever they want every day using one single central uh, currency, and I'll say central, one distributed central currency, that is not controlled, that is hard money. That's what Bitcoin is about. Hard, central, controlled, no one can change money. Okay, see that whole screen? That whole screen is payments. See that little pixel there? That's Bitcoin. That's what we are right now. We are Right down there, that little tiny pixel is Bitcoin. We are nothing. We like to think we're something right at the moment. We are not. If we want to be something, we need to scale and radically, not off chain, not moving some of the security into side chains and splitting the model. We need to right now, today, start scaling. What we have is we scale. We scale big, then no one stops it. No government stops it. No company takes control. We scale, we win. Scale growth and vision. We need to scale. We need real leadership. There should be no king in Bitcoin. There will be no king in Bitcoin. We are a community and it is time we start acting like one. When we create these side chains that, by the way, are patented and are controlled and happen to be owned and happen to be managed and monitored, then we give away the security model. If 100% of everything mines Bitcoin and controls Bitcoin, that's a security model that is hard, that no government can take over, no company can take over, no one takes over. Every time we split into side chains, we take away a little bit about what secure is the network. Every time we do that, it becomes less secure. Every time we create an altcoin, less secure. Every competing option that takes something from the overall network makes this one once in a lifetime, once in any part of history experiment, less viable. Everyone wants SegWit. 1984 doublespeak. Everyone does not want SegWit. Everyone is being cowed. SegWit is not scale. That is what we get with a block size increase. That is what we get with SegWit. If you have a four meg block, if you have a 16 meg block, you multiply it by four. That is not scale. What you do to scale is you increase the throughput and you get more for a four meg block than you do any time that you have this split system that needs to be run that you can't really delete because you have to keep it um, if you're a merchant, if you're a financial organization. Saying, oh, well, you can keep it. Where the hell is the actual benefit of deleting stuff that you can't delete? Each transaction requires more bandwidth. It's very simple. It takes more. The answers you've been given about how terrible all this is, Run multi-threaded systems. Stop arguing that it needs to be put on Raspberry Pi so that they can lie to you and tell you that it needs to be moved off to other systems. It doesn't. But at the end of the day, scale needs to happen. And it needs to happen now. 
and it is not quadratic due to um, all these other problems they're saying. Here's the thing no one's talking about. This quadratic scaling issue, it's added to Bitcoin. It is added. Follow the code base. <clears throat> it is easy to fix. I know several, Bitcrust, um, Bitcoin Unlimited, and our team all independently picked this out and fixed it. Our team did it in about three hours. That's your scalability. If you are getting a big block and someone's paying you to put transactions in there because we want 5 billion people using this, which miner is going to turn it away? If you get paid a little tiny amount per transaction, then you buy another hard drive and you take it. This is capitalism. It is competition. It is brutal and ruthless and it works. Removing incentives. What incentive is there to be a miner of a little bit of a shitcoin settlement for everything else? When you're getting money from everyone, how does Coke make money selling sugar water? They do it because volume. They don't make huge profits because of charging you 99% of the can. They make a fraction of a cent on every can, but they sell a lot. Miners want to make money, then velocity matters. Velocity of money scales the price. If you increase use, you double right now Bitcoin and velocity formula tells you that you two times 0.94 with the inflationary amount times the value. If you scale 100 times, price from velocity alone increases 94 times. What miner will not take 100 times the block size if they get 100 times the fees? This is what people think it is. This is what lightning is. It's a mesh with lots of little hops, central nodes, etc. Red balloons and Bitcoin, a group of Microsoft mathematicians went over and did the mathematics behind sibling and other things. Any network with a distance of three plus can always be sibled. Mathematically proven, always every time you do it, that lightning can have 80 hops. Not eight, 80. That means it is always vulnerable to attack. Not sometimes, always. It is mathematically proven. Read the paper, read their results. Bitcoin doesn't get civils because it has a distance under three. We have an unlimited block strategy. Stop thinking short term. We're not. If we start doing um, unlimited block size strategies where we just allow things to grow, our cost goes there. Visa cost goes there. We can run cheaper than Visa on our network right now. We can scale bigger than Visa right now. It is always about the incentives. And at the end of the day, this is our incentive. If we have 100,000 nodes and we have that because of merchants, we have a system that is more distributed than Bitcoin right now or any other system. And we can actually do that right now. If we get away from the idea that every single person needs to run a bloody Raspberry Pi and start scaling, then we get real financial sovereignty for everyone. Not manipulated money, not altered money, real, hard, free currency. And that's what this is about. We have number of Bitcoin transactions. If we scale, we 
go past Visa, we go past MasterCard, and we get to a point where we exceed all global transactions. Then we succeed. When we get, in this number of years, way past everyone else, we win. There is no attacks of centralization or anything like that. It becomes too big. When it's small, it's easy to stop. It's easy to manipulate. It's easy to control. When you add side chains, when you add other things that take away from the core of the network, I don't need to hard fork. I, as a miner, choose. People don't choose what I do as a miner. I can reject a block any time I want. It is about time that the miners started realizing their role in this industry. The miners set the rules. Not every user, not everyone out there. I want people to use Bitcoin as much as you want them to. We want this global. I don't want a few geeks using Bitcoin. I want my grandmother buying her gum or whatever else on Bitcoin. When that happens, when some small individual who doesn't matter to most of us uses Bitcoin, we want to increase revenue streams. Everyone, and I mean everyone, should be making money here. We want to ensure that we have transaction and custodial based revenue. Not us, everyone. This is a big, big potential industry. This is something that is global in nature. We are getting there. We're nearly at 10. 10 years. We should be competing with Visa now. Not later, not whatever else, now. It is coming up on 10 years. That is 1,000 times the scale. And we are not growing. $30 billion is not big. $30 billion is pissant. That, that dot there, Bitcoin. When that dot there is everything, we have succeeded, and only when it is everything. <laughs> and we need to work together and build a big, strong Bitcoin. It doesn't matter whether we like each other, whatever else, we're all in the same boat. We are not here to try and stifle Bitcoin. We want Bitcoin to be the financial sovereignty and security mechanism for the world.